Yo, what is up guys? My name is Alan from FPV Creator again with another unboxing. Today, this is the first day of 2021, so new year, new box. I'm really excited about opening this box because who, guess who sent it to me? T-Motor. You know the satisfying moment when you open a box like that? A lot of bubble wraps. Jesus Christ. This is the new... This is the new T-Motor Freestyle Drone. It is called the... T-Motor FT5 Mark II. So this is actually a really new PMP drone by T-Motor. I think they just released it this year. Like, I think, um... Oh, I'm sorry, it's 2021. They just released it in like late 2020, so I was super I was super lucky to be one of the first person who would get to review this. Anyways, let's open this. That's satisfying. Alright, so right from the box, you can tell they put so much detail into designing this box. There's like the the 3D rendering of this drone right here. It has a really nice logo. Let's open it. So right out of the box, you can you can see um, two bags of two bags of propellers. They are T forty nine forty three T motor propellers. Four pairs of propeller, which is really nice. Let's put it aside. And right here, it is the drone itself. Let's take it out. Actually, before that, I'm take out whatever's on the side. And right here, we have battery anti slip cushions with a little. FT5 logo sticker on there. Put that aside. Also came with, uh, I believe this is an ESC to FC cable. So in case, I think it's a backup, hopefully. I don't want to install it myself. There are four prope propeller nuts. Pretty useful. And uh, I have no clue what this is yet, but I'll figure it out later. On the left side, we have a battery strap. And oh my gosh, this is quality battery strap. This thing feels very fabric. Fab in fact, this part is made out of, I think, fabricated nylon or rubber or whatever it's made out of. This thing feels insanely high quality. It has a metal ring, which is rare. And also this side, it, it doesn't even slip at all. So, oh my gosh, T-Motor, good job on that. And I think it's time to take out the drone itself. Alright, so this is the T-Motor FT5 Mark II, 60% PMP version. So what 60% means that it's not a complete plug and play. You need to install your own receiver, so for me I'll use a Crossfire. I, you, you have to install your own FPV system, so you either put a digital one on there or you put an analog one. And yeah, this is the T-Motor 60%. And just like last video, I'll be going over the drone from the front to the tail. So right in the front, you can see that there is also another cushion for the carbon fiber. So prevent the carbon fiber from, from chipping off in the front. Entire structure of the drone is a, I think it is a true X, I believe. It's one of those classic looking ones, so no fancy side plate, no um, ultra flat profile or everything. It is very classic looking. It's simple, so there's not really mess arounds. Also on the side, there's the camera mount, two carbon fiber plate, I love these. On the top, I think this is a little ventilation hole, I'm not too sure about it yet. And then on the bottom, you have, uh, I think it's a three or 2.5 millimeter thick bottom plate, a two or 2.5 millimeter thick top plate. And they use a, they use standoffs, and yeah, as the front of the front of this drone, you can I think I believe you can install basically any popular FPV camera that you that you can find on the market these days. Like if you have Cadex Retel or Cadex Vista or DJI Air Unit or um, a Foxeer Aero, you can fit it in there without problem. Okay, moving on to the center. We can see a really nice looking fly stack here. Like for example, like the soldering of the motors are absolutely clean. 
the flight controller is completely soft mounted with the ESC on the bottom. The flight controller looks really complicated to me, but it has those huge soldering pads so you don't need to worry about like, you know, having a really big soldering tip and breaking the components inside. So I personally, I really like these big soldering pads because not everybody is a professional solderer, like those Shenzhen factory legends. So having those big solder packs are really, really nice. This one, this flight controller is also a little bit special. It doesn't use the OTG, micro USB OTG cable like every single other flight controller does. It is actually pretty suitable for 2021 because it uses a USB-C, which is, I only, I don't, I think you only find that it's one of the best flight controllers, not speaking of this is one of the best flight controller. On the arms, you can see race, I think those are braided wires, wire, wire covers. Those are perfect for anti-damage to motor wires, which is really nice. The motor itself is the, I think it is the V2306 1950K V Velox motor, or Velox motor, I don't know what's, how you pronounce it, but it's one, I think it's the one of the newer T-motor motors that goes really well. This one, this one I, I got from them is meant for 6L flying. They also have the 4L version, which is really nice. And guess what? I have actually I have actually never seen this. They put a little protective tip on a motor shaft where you can take off. All right, let's put that aside. Now, one thing that T-Motor mentioned to me before I record this video is that it has a really unique design. So sometimes you want to get access to the flight controller without ripping like unscrewing eight screws and getting the entire flight controller out. I mean, getting the entire top plate out. So this T-Motor top plate is actually made of three sections. There is the rear, is the middle, which is where all the flight stacks at, and there is the front. I believe that if you unscrew this two screw in the middle, you are actually able to access the electronics directly. If it's really true. Oh my gosh, see? Just two screws and you can access to the flight controller. This is this is actually really cool. Like, you know, sometimes you install the camera in the front and then it takes you some effort just to, you know, install the camera and then you do did some mistake in a flight stack and you just unscrew everything and rip off everything. It just make a mess. But with this one, you don't make a mess because just look at this. You can access the middle by unscrewing to screw, which is really nice by the way. Good job T-Motor. And I think the concept is the same for the, uh, the the rear and the front because just unscrew those four motors and I believe you can come out. One thing that's really unique about this drum is that they have this type of U bracket, which is really, um, which is really unique in the FP market. I've never seen one of those before. And I think that is what makes, pop, makes the this mechanism possible for you to, you know, just open it from the middle. So, looking at the flight controller, this is a SDM32 F7, F722 flight controller. So, as I said before, it is one of the best flight controller. It uses F7 chip, which is the best F722, the most stable F7 chip so far. It, this flight controller also have a ton of different pings. There are um, VBAT, 5 volt, VBAT, but it supports buzzer, it has uh, I2C communication, serial communications, the T, the TX and the RXs. Uh, there are 5 LED, it supports LED. And yeah, I think that's all is on this flight controller. Basically everything you need, but all in this little tiny package. Now let's take a look in the back. You can see an XT60 mount in the back. In fact, this is a, actually an... This is... This is a custom made XD60, which is different. So you can, this XD60 allows you to directly mount onto the carbon fiber top plate in the rear, in the rear position. And I think like, this is really nice. And on the back, there's an Immortal T, Immortal T mount. So Crossfire users, there you go. And it also has a, this is a traditional SMA mount. So if you have a analog camera, you can put it there. But even if you have a digital, like a Cadex Vista, which is the one I'll be using, I can basically poke the antenna through this hole and use it as like a hide, use it as like a mount. But 
Honestly, for myself, I'll probably 3D print something new. I'll look up if T-Motor has any, you know, custom part, but for right now, I might just 3D print myself. Um, so yeah, it's not very complicated. This drone is really sim- like, the design of it is really minimalistic, it's really classic, but you can look in the back. I would like to mention the back of this drone. It has so much mounting hose options, so you know those times when you mounted a camera and then it does- and your wires are just like half a centimeter short? It's really annoying that you had to extend it with heat shrinks and a soldering. Now going to the arms, we have the landing cushions, which you don't just scratch your motor screws again. It has um, a little motor protective tip, so it doesn't let like the when you crash land, it doesn't just break the motor, but it will hit the 3D printed tip directly. This one, um, I really like this type of design because you know when motors breaks, nothing goes well. You probably experience a really harsh crash. I'm also really excited for this motor because it just looks super decent in the build quality. Like if you look at the winding inside, it's absolutely clean. Like the motor itself is absolutely sick. So yeah, just remember you can buy this drone at our store fpvcreator.com. If you buy it there, it will help supporting us. And I will be testing this drone out in the next couple of days. So stay tuned for the next video and I'll see you next time. Have fun flying!